So why are you not called Blue Streak then? Oh. Another video, and this time we're looking at Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Deluxe Class Smokescreen. Now, I might say Blue Streak sometimes because, come on, Blue Streak is just basically a blue version, a blue, white, and red version of Smokescreen. Of bl See, I'm doing it now. Is a multicolored version, a French version of Blue Streak, which is grey and a bit of black. Why the names are odd and all the way around, I don't know. But here he is. Now, a lot of people say that this is basically a G1 remold of the Siege um, figures that it was Prowl, that was Smokescreen, that was, I think they did a Blue Streak, comment below, and Barricade. No, they have similarities in how they look, in the head, in the aesthetics, but near enough everything's completely new. The arms, I would say, are the same. The thighs, I would say, are similar. And I'd say that's it, really. Um, the legs are different. The upper arms are different. The, the chest, the body's different. The chest hood's different. The door wings... Um, yeah, they're different as well. The back is different. So, let's see what it looks like. So, the head's pretty nicely done. White balance is annoying. Um, very nicely painted head. Very nicely done yellow on the head. Even though it's a little bit... Only a tiny, tiny smidge lacking on the back. And it does bleed a little bit to the eyes, which... I think they're a turquoise colour, if you can, can you get that? Yeah, I think they're a turquoise colour. But yeah, the head's done very nicely. Very nice Autobot symbol on there, and nice colours all around. Very nice dark translucent colours for the headlights, and the grille and bumper. Again, very nicely done and painted. A bit of detail for the lower chest area. Black on the waist joint, very nicely painted, no it's very nice white, <laughs> I just love this figure, sorry, um, white thighs, um, very nicely painted legs and very G1 stompy legs, I would come to these sides, yeah don't know why it's got, f tries to do fillers for the legs, it tries at least, come on it tries. Uh, to the arms, blue and black. Come to the sides, the door wings, which says 80 on it, just because. Um, all the colours, white, red, blue, bit of black. Come on to the back, we've got the the hood, which is the back. We've I know these are hollow, but the transformation... Yes, I suppose they could do something that fills it out, but the transformation... And this is a bit worse than the um, Siege kind of look on this. Because this is very gappy. Um, yes, the transformation, but I'd have wished they'd have filled this out a bit more. But hey-ho. It is what it is. Articulation is very similar to the Earth uh, Siege car. In that the arms can go up and down and rotate all around. Now, there are locking joints for the shoulders but if you look in here there are little tabs now the plastic on these tabs is a bit naff this one will come up a bit too easily it's still 
in, but it just feels like it's too comes out too easily compared to how tight this joint is it's not really tight but it's just a little complaint i have just just a smidge uh, this one fairly tight you have to give it a bit of a clip to get it out but it is fair it's in fairly well um the head can look up well actually that much i didn't know it could look up that that much wow um can look down a little bit so look up a lot but down a little bit it's on the ball joint so spins all the way around it's got a waist joint now this is a negative to this figure against the cybertronian one it's a mushroom mushroom peg for the waist which you think was well, that problem it comes apart way too easily because it's a mushroom peg you can just pop it in really easily and it's not loose but it might get loose over time and it being so easy to pop apart that is an issue i love the figure but even i can say it's an absolute issue that they really should have had some oversight over in my opinion um he has bloody arm thing um yes the has um bicep rotation arms go over 90 and he also has wrist swivel the door wings can flap about but they do have a natural stopping point there which is nice i wish they had that on the siege figure but it's nice that they've got it on these has a waist joint which i've already shown off it's not loose but just be careful about popping it off just be careful there uh, the legs can go forward and back but they do stop at going back somewhat due to how this um, waist is and the upper torso you've got thighs that can kick out that far legs that can kick out that, that far sorry you can tell i'm not a proper toy reviewer can't you uh thigh swivel uh, why couldn't they have something to fill these in for the waist um third party companies or shapeways do something about that he has knee which he can bend quite well he can bend quite there we go he can bend quite well uh, he, there is also ankle rockers which can go up and down a bit not just for transformation that can go really far and then out that far which is a lot but it does mean you can do this with it if you want to don't know why you would but you can so that's pretty much it for the articulation he comes with not bad accessories actually he comes with this rifle which i think prowl came with the siege worm version of prowl came with anyway um put in the comments below if i'm wrong he's got a post there he's got a big post there and it's got also a nub for blast effect part so you can mount it in his hand you can mount it on his arm on his uh, shoulder on his leg on his back or on these um, heels here or what i think is a nice touch and i don't think this is intentional you can thread it and you're gonna have to put a itty bitty bit of force in you can thread it through and have it so he's holding his rifle like that so he's ready for action but he's still at ease He's ready for every, anything, but he's not going to go into into war without his rifle. He also comes with, if I just arm him with, well, I'll just leave it off for a second just to show you. He also comes with two of these little blast nubbies, which, if you know Smokescreen or Blue Streak, they are notorious for having these. So where these are supposed to go, because these these little nubs right here, they go into the shoulders like so they go into there what you could do is ha hand holding them there because it's only a little slanty post like that it's not really that tight but if it holds in hand quite well uh, because there are ports on either side you can mount it on the rifle if you want for a triple barreled blaster effect if you want up to you it's also got nub on the front and back 
for blast effect parts. What you could also do is mount it on the feet. So stupid. Like that. Um, I don't know if anyone's done that, but it's something you can do. And you've got four exhausts to choose from. The options are there. So, let's go to transformation. Now, this has a few more steps than the Siege one. What I like to do is have the door wings fold in out as far as they can go. Then fold the arms out as far as they can go. Now, unlike the Siege figure, the arm joints can go a bit further. These, this does help for clearance issues and whatnot. Now, I should note that some people have had the roof break off. This is because of how it works. We'll get on to it. But what I want to do first is fold the heels in. Then clip the legs together. Don't pull them in because it doesn't work like the siege toy. Oh, and then fold these pieces in. It's nice that they've done that, but okay, fine. Uh, and then rotate the legs around. Don't do anything else with them. It's not worth it at a minute. Then pull the torso up. There's a little nub right here which goes into there. It doesn't feel tight or anything, but it, it doesn't move. That's possibly because of this back joint and everything else in between, as well as this bit. If it were just this bit, it'd be way too loose. So there's this thing to be grateful there. So pull that up and be careful. Pull it up. Now, here's where the problem lies. Now, looking at it, you think that this lifts up. It does not. It is stuck in there. Now, I can understand people's problems with it looking like it comes up and it breaking. But I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, if you've not had problems with it, great. I've not. So, uh, then what you do is fold this bit down until it clips in. Then what you want to do, just to make it nice and clean, fold the, rotate the head around. Then fold on this joint. Just fold it up a little bit. Doesn't go up much at all. Then what you want to do is, yeah, now you want to go to the legs. Fold the legs in while you're folding the legs in like that. And then fold, am I doing that right? Yeah, fold the legs in like so. Oh no, sorry, I've got that wrong. Um, yeah, don't put that in like that. That's more for transformation. Uh, leave it out like this. This is all how it'll go, sorry. That's my bad. Uh, then fold the legs in. And like on the siege figure, you want to pull that up a little bit. Not that much, but enough so it's a bit tilted. Then fold everything in, so it's like that. And then fold everything together. It'll clip in and click in, but everything will go in. Then what you want to do is come to the arms. And it's similar to the siege figure. Rotate up, rotate around. Make sure everything's straight-ish. Same on this arm. Rotate, rotate, and then like the siege figure, fold in, fold in, and then fold them down. It's very imperative how the arms are facing because of the doors. Now there's a port right there and a post right there, or a nubbin as I call them, a triangular nubbin as you will. And a really, really small indent there. They will go into there, there, and there. And there's also a tab right here, which will help keep the, the doors nice and secure. So just tab it in and just make sure everything's holding like so and that is blue streak in alt mode or car mode 
and for me this is what people get when they say Siege and Earthrise kind of does mini masterpiece. I would have to agree. This is a miniature masterpiece version of the uh, masterpiece blue streak. Sorry, smoke screen. <laughs> um, the colours are, as far as I can tell, pretty spot on. There's not enough white, you could argue, but it's got good white stripes here. Uh, come on, on to the detail. I like this detail back here and the window detail and the front window very nicely done uh, the red the only problem i could really say with the paint is this front bumper is a different red which eh, if you're bothered about that fine that's that's you you do you um no paint on the rear bumper which is kind of standard unfortunately um the wheels do roll fairly well one thing I'd say is a minor issue, which you might feel is a major issue, is the hood, sorry, the roof, sorry, I don't really know cars. I drive one, but I don't really know them. Uh, isn't that flush. Um, you see, it's a little bit raised. But if that bothers you too much, understandable. It's a little niggle for me, but it doesn't bother me that much. Um... I think it's a really nice looking car mode. I really, really do. And um, the own I've got wheel jack, which is also a really nice car mode as well. Um, hoist, hoist's all right. Um, I might get rid of hoist actually. But anyway, uh, coming to the accessories, you can poke it on the roof. You can point the little nubby guns on the front. And to be honest, the little nubby guns, you take this off, the little, little nubby guns don't look too bad with it on. You could also, <laughs> good Christ, poke them into the exhausts for storage if you really want to. Or what you could do, or what you could do, I like giving you options, don't I? Yes. Or poke them all on top just because. <laughs> So, that is Earthrise Smokescreen, one of the best deluxes, and I've got a fair few of the deluxes for um, Siege, I've got, I'm getting a fair few of the deluxes for Earthrise actually now, I've just listed a few off, and actually this is the best one, the car mode is amazing looking, the robot mode is, it's like the Siege one, but has a lot lot more doing to it from what if from what i've said put people off i can completely understand um there's some design flaws in this figure which is absolutely baffling to me as far as i'm concerned um i'm glad it hasn't happened to me the waist joint is my biggest problem but i mean it depends if it is a problem for you for me it's only a minor one because i can put it back in easy enough but yeah, there's the bottom side, head, hands, arms, there you go. <laughs> Very gappy. Um, yeah, for me, the waist joint is the biggest problem, but even then, it's easy to fix. And after you've played with it a bit, it's not that much of an issue. So there is Earthrise. Smokescreen. I've said it right again for the second time. Goodbye for now. <laughs>